Stephen Colbert. Have you ever heard of him? Yes, I right. have. He's very. <laughs> it's pretty good. Very, very like a super, like John, a, a, a utter super genius. And I just learned something about him that I hadn't known. And it's a, it's a, it's a, a third hand story, so it might not be true, but it, it meant a lot to me. One of someone who was talking to one of his staffers was talking about how what a genius he was, and the staffer said, "You know, Stephen trained himself to stop feeling embarrassment." And and my friend was like, "What do you what do you mean?" He said, "No, no, he literally." went through essentially like immersion therapy where he would in the when he was earlier in his career he would do things like walk across the street very slowly doing a funny walk and getting everyone mad at him and he would do other things where he would just go you know walk, walk through restaurants and just go from table to table and you know take the salt and pepper shakers away and replace it with I'm, I'm making this up. I don't know about that. All I know is the thing about walking across the street. No one here seemed to understand what, what the fuck that was. So I started to imagine what would be a yes. would be a similar yes. would be a, a similar thing you could right. do. Tell us more lies until we understand. Yeah, but like, <laughs> like you know, what what would be the most em- embarrassing right. uh, embarrassing thing you could do? And he would do it, and he would do it over and over again until he no longer felt embarrassment, and it shows. On his show, that he sure. just doesn't, that it does, nothing can embarrass him. And it gives him such latitude to do whatever comedically comes to mind because he'll never wince in that mm-hmm. way. And I, you know, I am certainly not that way at all. I feel embarrassed all the time. I'm terrified right now. Do you know what I mean? But it's true that when you perform, the more you perform, the more the more confident you naturally get. And, and the faking, you know, that you have to be a fraud to some degree to start performing, but then that fraudulence decreases as you become more and more comfortable on stage. And you come to trust the fact that even if you don't know what's going to happen, most of the time your brain won't let you down and you'll, sure. and you'll have something to say or the right thing to say. And it's almost like you have to have that courage of I've done this enough. No matter what comes up, I'm going to find my way right. out of it. But it's not it's not. You know, it's pardon my uh, my language. It's not bull feces self help. Yes. Do you understand? It's like if you just have heart, it'll yeah. be fine. It's science. It's mm-hmm. like you go out there enough. Do you know? You do it over and over and over and over again. You will naturally build up a sort of internal callus to the fear and the and the and the terror, uh, which is, and and that happens because of training not because of right. belief in yourself in a sort of a but it's also the secret kind of you way. do need to fail a lot before you will finally get to the point of failure is whatever it is I have, and then, I have heard people say that yeah. it's not been my experience yeah you've only succeeded there look at me <laughs> <laughs>